Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about this guy right here, which is the Ulanzi Smart Clock. This is a new BitPixel Smart Clock from Ulanzi that has a lot of other features other than being a clock, one of which is probably the most important feature on this device and the one that most of my subscribers and viewers are going to want to use most, and that is going to be the YouTube subscriber count function. Now, beyond that, you currently have weather, which unfortunately at the moment only works for cities in China. They are in the process of making it so that U.S. cities also work. Uh, it does only show the temperatures in Celsius, but that is also going to get a change to Fahrenheit. You can also track subscriber and follower counts on services like Billy Billy and Weibo. And from what we're hearing from Alonzi, they do have plans to add things like Instagram, Facebook, and maybe even something like TikTok or Twitch moving down the road as they can do software updates to this item as needed. Now, if you're willing to learn a little bit of coding on your own, this also does support the use of Autrix, which will allow you to code your own BitPixel applets for use with the Ulanzi Smart Pixel Clock. Now, this is an item that I'm super excited to have because number one, it's only $49, which is an absolute great price for what you're getting. And if you've looked into these before, they're not very affordable or price conscious. They run about $200 plus. And for how I'm using this here, just as a YouTube subscriber count, which is going to go into the background of my videos, $200 is a lot of money to spend just on that. Something around the $50 price point that this currently is, is much more palatable for myself. And I'm gonna guess as well as a lot of you guys as well. Now, over the last few years, I've covered quite a few Ulanzi products on this channel as they have been coming up with a lot of new, very price conscious usable items in the photography and YouTube industry. And this smart pixel clock is no different and it's just one more to add to the list. Now, beyond the fact that it can keep track of our YouTube subscriber counts live, one of the things that I like about this unit is how sleek it looks. It looks super good in the white. It's got nice sharp angles, which is a nice aesthetic that's going to go with almost anything that you have set up and just look extremely nice and have kind of that modern luxury feel to it. Now, currently in terms of using this unit, you do have to use your smartphone. And unfortunately, there's not currently a dedicated app. You're essentially going to use an IP address that you're going to have provided by this device, open a web browser on your smartphone, and then you're going to be able to get into all the settings for this unit. Now, currently by default, the entire interface is in Chinese, but the very first option, if you click it to the other option and then hit save, it will convert to English and then you have your full settings for the entire clock. From there, you should be able to go into your different setups for like your YouTube subscriber counts, your clock features, scoreboard features, weather features, or any of the other ones that you want to get into. Now for getting your YouTube subscriber count live, there is another step that you're going to have to follow. I'm going to put a link in my video description to another video showing an easy way to get into those Google API features in order to get a key that you will need in order to get your live subscriber count. The other thing you're going to need is your channel ID, which if you go onto YouTube and click on your my channel button, and when it gives you the full link of your channel, there's going to be a bunch of numbers and letters right at the end. These are going to be what you need to put into this field. And once you do those two things, reset the device, you should be able to have your live subscriber count, just like what mine is showing with no problems whatsoever. Now this unit comes equipped with a 4,400 milliamp battery. So you can have this just kind of sitting anywhere you want with no power plugged into it. And you should get about four to five hours on average with just the battery. Now in my use case, once I put this where it's ultimately going to go, I will plug it in that way it always has power. Now for anyone who wants more information on this item, I will have the link down in the description below. Uh, that way you can go check it out for yourself. But as I said, for $50, it is absolutely one of the most cost efficient live YouTube count pixel clocks that you're going to find currently on the market. All right, guys, as always, please consider hitting the like button on this video if you liked the video or found it useful. If you wanna see more content like this, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the notification icon. That way you get alerts anytime I put out a new video like this. And with that being said, until next time.